if your boot doesn't provide protection against impacts, ankle movement, twisting, getting your ankle and foot crushed by a heavy T7, you are simply waiting for a disaster to happen. I once planned a romantic movie marathon for my wife, and like her, you will not be expecting me to start with Das Boot. Oh, Ryan, you absolute legend. Good day, guys. If I do look a bit shabby, it's because I got home from Portugal late last night, and I haven't even showered yet. And these are the very clothes that I used throughout the whole trip. And you know my take on merino wool. Ah, could go for another week, no issues. As adventure riders, we ride off-road. And when it comes to off-road riding and safety, protection against impact is the most important. And like everything when it comes to adventure riding, it's a matter of compromising. On this side of the spectrum, we have comfort and on the opposite side, we have protection. On this side, we have something like the Alpine Star Corozel boot, a boot that I've owned, super comfortable, but does not provide any protection against impact. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, protection, we have something like the Gar Garni SG12's super protective boot. I ordered them to my home or house and I tried them on and they were so stiff and protective that they made your regular ski boot feel like your grandpa's slippers, I had to return them because they were simply way too stiff. Now, either side of any spectrum, any extreme is usually not the answer. But where do we draw the line between comfort and protection? Corozal's super comfortable, no protection. SG12's super protective, no comfort at all. And that is where the Alpine Star Tech 7s comes into the picture because I find these to be the perfect compromise between comfort and protection. Oof. But the CDC would, and they studied 1.2 million motorcycle crash victims and found that the likeliest injuries are to lower extremities. And cross check that in other countries, and yes, 66% of all bone breaks happen down here. If your boot doesn't provide protection against impacts, ankle movement, twisting, getting your ankle and foot crushed by a heavy T7, you are simply waiting for a disaster to happen. If you ride around with your former adventure boots, super comfortable, waterproof, yes, all good and all that, but absolutely no protection. You may say, well, Johannes, I'm just your regular adventure rider. I just explore the odd gravel road. I don't need super stiff and protective boots. Well, that is where I think most of us is wrong because sooner or later, riding off-road, even if it's the odd gravel road, you will tip over and you will eventually get your bike over your foot. And if you don't have something that is as stiff as the Tech 7 or even stiffer, you are just waiting for, yeah, a broken foot. The Alpine Star Tech 7 is actually a motocross boot. And many of you may say, well, that's just way too much boot for adventure riding. But when you look at the data provided by yours truly, Fortnite, 70% of all injuries happens from this part and down. I don't think this is an overkill at all. And as I just said, I got home from Portugal last night from a week long of off-road riding through many awesome trails. And I can assure you that these Tech 7s did a fine job protecting my feet from all the hard hits and dabs in the mud and all the sand. I'm very impressed with the quality and the protection that these provide. The only drawback that I find to these boots is that they are not waterproof. These will soak up as soon as you see rain coming from the sky or cross a river or jump a puddle. But that is something I am trying to remedy with these. These are waterproof, breathable socks sent to me by Randy's son. Thank you very much, Randy's son. I hoped these would arrive before I got to Portugal or went to Portugal so I could try this out, but they didn't. So I'll have to try this at home and of course I will get back to you 
with my findings. If this and a motocross boot is the perfect setup for adventure riding. And yes, these do come in a waterproof version that I will buy in the future. So the main takeaway of this video is obviously protect your feet. When we see statistically 70% of all injuries happens to our feet. Protect them, even if you are an adventure tourer and you only travel down the odd gravel road because tip overs or crashes, they can happen when you least expect it. No, your former adventure boots or Alpine Star Corozals, I'm sorry, they are not protective enough. They will squish as soon as you need them to be stiff when you crash with a big adventure bike or have to dab against the hard rock to keep upright. Protect your feet. Thanks for watching.